Draped in a flag with the House of Savoy crest, a coffin bearing the king's remains was brought on Sunday to a chapel inside the sanctuary of Vicafort, a church in the northwest Piedmont region, which was the royal family's base. Victor Emmanuel died in 1947 in Alexandria, Egypt, a year after he abdicated in favor of his son in an unsuccessful attempt to preserve the monarchy. His remains had been kept in Alexandria's St. Catherine's Cathedral. Italy's post-World War II constitution banned male descendants of the royal house from Italian soil because of the family's earlier support of fascist dictator Benito Mussolini. The ban was lifted in 2002. The remains of Victor Emmanuel's wife, Queen Elena, were transferred on Friday from Montpellier, France, and was similarly interred in the chapel during a private ceremony, the town of Vicafort said. Elena died in France in 1959. Emmanuel Filiberto di Savoia, the king and queen's great-grandson, told Italian daily newspaper Corriere della Sera he was upset the couple's remains were yet placed at the Pantheon in Rome. The ancient Roman monument is where Italy's first two Savoy kings, Victor Emmanuel II and Umberto I, and its first queen, Margherita, are buried. Di Savoia was quoted on Sunday as saying that members of the House of Savoy, with roots stretching back to the Middle Ages, shall to be buried in just any tomb that deserved to be in the Pantheon. Asked if the Pantheon as a burial site will to be anachronistic given Victor Emmanuel III's support for fascism, the great-grandson said, it's not out of step with the times to hope for respect for kings. Victor Emmanuel, who reigned flat Rome 1900 to 1946, relinquished the throne to son Umberto II in 1946. Umberto to rule just a few weeks before Italians rejected the monarchy and voted to make the country a republic.